the natural born pranksters in studio. Uh, see what we have Cobb Energy Center tonight, starting at eight o'clock. Ticketmaster.com, and then you guys got a movie that comes out this Friday in studio. We don't have all three of you guys. I guess Roman decided to stay home. Is that correct? It's Easter Sunday. He's on route right now. I think he's just landed in oh, Atlanta. Okay. Uh, but we okay. have Dennis, who's speaking right now, and Vitaly. Am I saying that yeah, correct? Vitaly. 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 Okay. What's up, Atlanta? Uh, uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your last name, Vitaly. Why not? Try right. <laughs> Vitaly, what is your last name? Can you, uh, where, where are you cute. from? You look foreign. It's from, yeah, I'm from Russia. Is it, it's not your Russia. fault where your parents have sex. Is there, is there, huh? is there, is there, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not even going to give it a shot. Okay, so this is what this is what's interesting with these guys. This is what I find fascinating. Okay, so uh, I mean, you know, obviously the comparisons with the natural born pranksters to like uh, impractical jokers or jackass guys, but you guys have done it differently, and this is where it's really neat. Where you've used the internet to create a fan base second to none taken that parlayed that into hollywood and every city every country that you go to you have such a huge fan base you almost worked backwards where you had this huge fan base before you put out a movie so the movie is going to be successful either way game plan when you guys first start doing these pranks was that the idea was that the blueprint for this uh well I wanted to be an actor, so I wanted to do my own following. I didn't want to move to LA and be an addition, the guy that nobody knows. I wanted to do YouTube videos to get a following, and yeah, nine million. And then you start doing pranks. Yeah, it, prank. so I do. I do pranks because you know drama sells. Nobody wants to see sketches. I sure. used to do sketches in high school, and it's boring. So was your only way to become an actor was doing pranks. Yeah, so yeah. get we, noticed. It's exactly. attention deficit disorder, basically. It's ADD. So we, the pranks, you know, sketch is too long to capture someone's attention. And right. they're usually not shareable. So the pranks we can put up back in the day, we'd put up like a two minute and 30 second video uh -huh. before everybody else was doing pranks. Brandy, swing your mic around. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so Dennis can use it. <clears throat> Steve doesn't have to give up his. Thank you very much. We have, uh, we've been trying to get that mic fixed for about two a year Two guys, now. one mic. Yeah. Two guys, one mic. There you <laughs> go. So, so, but your pranks are interesting too, because again, you know, you do the comparisons. I hope that's not offensive to use the comparisons like jackass and stuff, but theirs were kind of almost trying too hard to the extreme. Uh, yours come across as pranks that are fun. Yeah. Uh, are if that makes any sense. That's what we've been talking about. Well, that's they're what simple. we do on YouTube. The pranks on YouTube are fun. They're shareable. Sure. They're edgy. They're crazy. But for the movie, uh, the pranks we did on Natural Born Pranksters aren't safe for YouTube. They violate their terms of service. So they uh, can't. Oh, so we really? are going to see that. Yeah. Like what? Like what? Um, well, if you saw on the trailer, like, I'll say... Like grotesque or violence, stuff like that, uh, sexual stuff, uh, that's not allowed on YouTube. Technically, they can get flagged or pulled down. So in the I movie, didn't see anything bad, though. I thought yeah. it was just clever. Oh, just oh, well, well, yeah, it's a trailer. we got to sh sh allow it to be shown. Well, comes out we of the thought you were wholesome, fun, nice guys, and now there's going to uh, be a little bit of jackass well, the, humor the, coming, huh? The movie is rated R. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I, didn't know. I thought it was because y'all cuss a lot. Or no. I thought there was the one gro sex the scene. grotesque and, and violence and uh, and I think the sexual. Are what? there boobs? Are we going to see boobs? <laughs> Not yours, it's by the way. for you to go find out, bud. I mean, <laughs> seriously, that's the question that has to be asked. Everybody's thinking what, uh, it. What you got to go watch it to see the boobs. What comes out of the cannon? Because you don't you don't pay off the cannon in the that's trailer. For people to find out. Yeah, you got to go watch. Well, just tell me. One. I'll tell you after the radio. Okay. Because yeah. that that, that okay. got me. There, the trailer, and you can see this. We'll post it up on BaileyAndSouthside.com for the natural born pranksters. But there's one scene that cuts, and uh, who goes into the cannon? Roman. Okay, so Roman goes into the cannon. A human cannon. Human cannon. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then they have a group of people around the human cannon, and it just stops. Their faces just drop, and you got hands over the mouth. I'm guessing it's like if I were to guess. Okay, this is what my guess would be. It'd be like meat. Hunks of meat. Hunks of meat like he that's got blown up. Because that's, that's funny. That's funny. Because you're like, oh, damn. I like the portalette. That's my kind oh, of thing. Where so any, anything that freaks people out where you see the guy go in the portalette and there's one scene on a construction site. And obviously, he sneaks out, but then there's this reckless car comes in and drives right over yeah. the damn thing. And just, you just think he destroys it. You're like, he's dead. No, what? no. Actually, it was a, in the trailer. You see the girl goes in and her boyfriend witnesses the... Uh, the guy that's freaking out is the boyfriend? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. It's awesome. What's I mean, the, you could give somebody a heart attack over that. What do you do then? <laughs> What's the... Uh, well, that, you know, that's the best thing about having production in Lionsgate... And uh, Studio 71 backing us up. They deal with all the That's legal, legal stuff. Legal shit. <laughs> hey, easy. <Sorry. laughs> what what uh what what prank that that stands out that you guys? Have, how many years have you been doing this? 
Uh, four years. Four years. Okay. Four. So, what prank stands out that upset somebody the most? Like in that the, went after you that in, was, the, in the movie? No, no, just in general. The stuff that you've done, whether in the movie or on YouTube. Uh, I did a um, prank with Russian hitman. Sixty seconds prank. It's basically where I dress. I have a character, Russian hitman. I dress up in a suit and I go up to people at the bus stop and I leave a suitcase and I say, "Your life, your choice." Sixty seconds, and I run, and they run. But the prank is that there's money in the suitcase. But you know how people are brainwashed with the bombings and stuff like that. So, oh, my God. Yeah, why not take advantage of that? That's yeah, awesome. so, uh, anyways. Uh, I get rated R now. I went to jail for bomb hoax charge, uh, sec second degree felony. I was facing 15 years, and uh, I didn't go to trial, because if I lost, I would have got 15 years. But And deportation. And right? deportation. Yeah. I was, uh, well, I probably was going to go to Russia before they locked me up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because I didn't have the wireless microphone turned on, so I couldn't prove it in court. My oh, camera, man. man, forgot on that clip where the guy got angry. Oh, man. And, so I, got, I went to jail for 60 days and two months probation. It got dropped down to, so. Here in the States you did or in Russia? Yeah, Key West, Southern Jail in America, What's baby. up, buddy? <laughs> What's it like being locked up behind bars seeing palm trees? That's got to piss you off. Uh, it was all like beach bums and stuff. It was pretty nice, man. Was, let me, let me tell you something. A couple years ago, this was like 2008, 2009, uh, there was a story locally where I was doing radio at of a suspicious package, and it ended up being a stuffed pony. Oh, my. Okay, and, they, mm. and, and the world stopped for that city, and they brought the bomb squad out, and it was humorous because the news was filming this blue, or brown and white stuffed pony, it was small, you know, that was standing in the middle of a cul-de-sac, and they brought the robot out, and they blew it up. So I thought for a radio bit, I was like, let's take a, uh, a suitcase out and put a sign on it. It's a suspicious package. Oh, boy. And, <laughs> oh, you can't do that. Uh, That's and, funny, uh, dude. and inside, put T-shirts for the radio show. That's great. So when they blow it up, the... <laughs> Brand would fly. I everywhere. would love to go do that. Tonight. I had it. I had it all set up, and I was going to do it. And management nixed that. In well, a of course. Second, but how brilliant! The same sim similar idea. You know, because they blow. I'll give it. you a shout out when I do it, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please do. Oh yeah, I'm about to say you, you should do. It. You know, one one that I did, I thought was very funny, was the diarrhea in the stall. I know this is not. Oh, he yeah. doesn't like bathroom no, humor. No, I like so that. Like, all right, so what I did is I had a couple two liters made up of a diarrhea looking color. Yeah. And I put out of order on the restroom. Yeah. And so then you wait till somebody goes in and they're doing their business. Then you come running in. Obviously, it's the only one available. So you sit there and you run in and you're like, oh my God, it's out of order. You know, or the, yeah. so whatever you're saying, undoing your belts real quick and you're making that, oh Ew. my God, oh my God, I gotta go. And then you squirt the diarrhea Oh my down God, that's great. And it hits their feet. And I'm gonna tell you, somebody will literally freak out that's the second it hits the floor. You've done it? Oh yeah. Oh, that's Guy so wanted to kick my ass pretty. He, he got pretty irate. You know what it's like when a guy, you come out and he's got his pants still down. He goes, man, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Put up your pants first. Is there, yeah. is there so can pull that I off. like that. I is there something it. now that you've guys gone from YouTube to the big screen? And, you know, you mentioned Lionsgate before. That's huge for distribution. And you get Lionsgate to pick you up. They see the popularity of uh, the Natural Born Pranksters. And they get you guys. You guys get a deal. Obviously, it's why you're in town. The Q&A tonight. And then the movie out this Friday. Um, is there something now that you have... Hollywood producers and big money backing you that you have to back off of? Have they put a nix on certain things that you did in the, uh, on YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah. When we uh, started writing, we had like 400 pranks, and then legal said no to about 360 <laughs> of them. That's what happens. That's awesome. I think 370 or something. Did you try to fight any of them? Oh, yeah, of course. Actually, the baby swap was originally a no. Uh, and then after the movie was filmed, they called us back, and then they said, we'll go ahead and do it. I've seen the baby swap, uh, swap and that's worth going just to see that, because, dude, that was cool. I, I saw that on the highlight, and I went, Buffalo. you just can't swap a baby, because if I'm the husband, I'm like, what the hell? Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Uh, it's like right. the greatest moment ever on a baby, so and you're ready good. to kick your wife's ass. <laughs> hey, will you guys uh, help us out with uh, something we do, Smarta Marta? We're kind of talking, I don't know if this was on the air or off the air, but Marta, you guys are new to Atlanta. Marta here in in town it's our transit service okay yeah and there's some uh interesting individuals for marta that ride in well nate over here he each, up, every week he goes out and finds the smartest person to ride marta and i use that very loosely okay uh those that are listening if you'd like crock fest tickets we announced earlier skinner it's going to be here saturday june 18th of uh, verizon wireless amphitheater uh, if you'd like to go, you just have to agree or disagree, but we want the guys from Natural Born Pranksters to help us out. You're going to hear the person that he talks to on Marta, All right. and then he asks some very simple questions. 
And they just got to see if he's going to know the answer or not. So if Smart you guys... people use public transportation. You know this. All right. So uh, we'll do that next for these Crockfest tickets. Are you calling me an idiot, man? I no, use... no. I think you're very intelligent. Right. I use public transit. Obviously very intelligent <laughs> to do what you're doing. All right. So we'll do that here next. If you want in on this, 404-741-7625. Smart and Marta next with our friends here, the Natural Born Pranksters, Bailey and Southside Rock, 100.5. Rock 100.5.